thank you for purchasing your new Cobalt Heavy Duty Wheelbarrow. This video will easily guide you through the steps needed to quickly assemble it. Before actually starting the assembly, lay all of your components out and make sure you have everything you need. Two handles, two wedges, two legs, two stabilizers, one leg brace, two axle brackets and an axle, one wheel, one wheel guard, two tray braces, one long and one short stay, two four and three quarter inch long bolts, two three and a quarter inch long bolts, four two and three quarter inch long bolts, a pair of two and a quarter inch long bolts, four one inch long bolts, six three quarter inch long bolts, 20 flange nuts, and of course, the tray. Note that towards the end of the assembly, you will need a half inch wrench or socket not included in your kit. First step is to build the undercarriage. Take the stabilizers and manually attach them to the legs using the one inch long bolts of your kit. Make sure to have the flange nuts at the inside of the legs. Then, take one of the legs and manually attach it to the leg brace using four of your six three-quarter inch long bolts, which are the smallest of your kit. Do it so that the bent parts of the leg brace match on the back of the legs. Loosely attach the bolts with its rounded heads facing out making sure to have the Cobalt logo to be read correctly and not upside down. Second step, take a four and three quarter inch long bolt, the longest of your kit, and push it through one of the holes at the front of the tray base. Then, place the wedge with its broad end forward. Important, the wedge has an illustration indicating which side must be in contact with the tray. Insert the first handle with its grips towards the back of the wheelbarrow. Now, put the short stay with its fold facing down. Next, take the previously assembled undercarriage and attach its front part. Loosely secure wedge, handle, short stay, and back support with a flange nut. Now, push a three and a quarter inch long bolt at the rear hole of the tray to attach wedge, handle, long stay, and undercarriage to it. Loosely secure them with a nut. Turn the tray around to repeat to attach the second wedge, handle, short and long stays, and the pre-assembled undercarriage. Please note that initial unions must be done by hand only. Don't tighten any nut using tools yet. You will do so at the end of the assembly process, so it's normal to have parts of the wheelbarrow being partially loose during assemblage. To fix the wheel, First, take a two and three quarter inch long bolt and push it through the second hole of the handle to place an axle bracket with its long side facing the inside of the wheelbarrow. Then take another bolt of the same size and also one tray brace. Place it on the opposite side of the handle and loosely secure them at the same time. Now, insert the axle through the wheel, placing one end in the axle bracket you just set. Then place the second axle bracket with the other end of the axle in it, also with its long end facing the inside of the wheelbarrow, and manually secure it to the handle. Remember that you still have to do all of this by hand only, without tools yet. Use your last two and three quarter inch long bolts to put the second tray brace and secure the second axle bracket at the same time. You have to have all the threaded ends of the bolts pointing towards the inside of the wheelbarrow away from the user. Now it's time for the wheel guard. Simply attach it over the front of the handles using the two and a quarter long bolts of your kit. Again, the rounded heads of the bolts must be placed outwards. With the wheelbarrow on its wheel and legs, use your last two short bolts through the tray to fix the other ends of the tray braces. Finally, once you completed the assemblage, firmly tighten all the nuts. Now it's turn for the half-inch wrench or socket to work. Important! The tray braces are the first components to be tightened and have to be done evenly. To do so, go with the first nut and bring it to a soft grip. Same with the second one. And then go again with them, but a little tighter this time, without forcing the bolts. 
Although there is no specific order to tighten the remaining 16 bolts of your new wheelbarrow, we recommend you to do so from back to front. This simple tip will help you not leave any of them without its proper grip. As simple as that, you're ready to go! Again, thanks for your purchase and enjoy your new heavy-duty wheelbarrow for years to come!